If you're going to be rendering your project for broadcast, in other words, it's going to be shown on television, be that public access cable, cable TV networks, or the big boys, there are only two rules. Your best work. Your reputation is on the line. Give them your best work, the best quality, the best polished package. Tune it up and give them your best. Give them your best however they want it. If they want it on a DVD and it will fit on a DVD, put it on a DVD. If they want it on a DV tape, give it to them on a DV tape. If they want it on Betacam and you have that capability with a deck link, go right ahead and print to tape. That said, most of the broadcast media folks can accept a mini DV tape at this point in time. All their Betacam SP decks have these little gizmos that you slip a DV tape into and they plug right in to the deck. So that's generally the way you'll deliver for broadcast. You may deliver on a DVD if that's something that they're looking for. So let's go ahead and render this project. This is a native DV project. We're going to accept the default NTSC DV template. And in this particular case, right now, I'm only going to render a loop region just to be quick about it. If our file is less than 4.7 gigabytes, we can put it on a data DVD. If it's less than 700 megabytes, we can put it on a CD. Otherwise, we're probably going to print to tape. When it comes to printing to tape, we have two options. We can print to tape from the timeline. That could include a loop region only. If we want to print just this region to tape, we can do that or we can print to tape using the capture video application. So let's try it both ways. Tools print to tape. Notice we can also print to HDV tape. I'll talk about that in the HDV section. Vegas confirms the timeline to device format. NTSC, that's correct, and render the loop region only. Yes, remember we're just doing a test here. Now, I was just thinking that I had forgotten to set up the project appropriately for broadcast delivery, which may mean two seconds of black leader at the head and tail or something more sophisticated. Luckily, Vegas has my back. We can have leader test patterns, and we can set the duration. We can also play a one kilohertz tone with the test pattern. And in addition to the test pattern, we can have black leader and trailer and set the length of those as well. Let's take the defaults. We have two options here. We can do it manually, in which case we'll start and stop the device ourselves or if we have good sync with our FireWire camcorder, we can choose crash recording. Let's try that. Vegas is telling me that over 80% of the selected region has to be rendered. Do we wish to continue? Yes, of course. In other words, anything that wasn't pre-rendered must be rendered prior to print to tape. We can also print to tape using the video capture application. Let's go to File, Capture Video. Yes, we will use the external application. We will confirm that this is the night one tape. And let's go to the Print to Tape tab. Print to Tape tells us that no file is loaded. We just rendered an AVI file. Let's use that. Here's the file. Open. And now it's loaded. Let's make this bigger. We can preview on an external monitor if we have one hooked up. Let's record to the device. Sony Video Capture tells us 
print to tape is a destructive operation that will overwrite video on your tape. Do you want to continue, yes or no? If you click here, you can choose to not show this message every time, but I choose to see it. I think it's a useful warning. Let's go ahead. Now Vegas is printing to tape. Done. Print to tape has completed. You can choose not to show this message as well. We're done. And if we go back to the Capture tab, we can see our completed clip on the tape. HDV Basics in Vegas.